I'm here with Alex Honnold here on the patio of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. It's Oscar night and the festivities are just about to get started. Alex's film Free Solo has been nominated for an Oscar. How are you feeling? It's a big night for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting, getting psyched. I mean, honestly, I just came from the climbing gym and I'm kind of worked and I need to eat some lunch and get fired up. Uh -huh. But I mean, the Oscars don't even start for six hours or something. It's crazy. We go to the red carpet so early. By the time they actually start, I'll be fired up. Yeah, absolutely. For now, I'm just kind of pooped. You're wearing a custom North Face tuxedo. It's the first one that they've ever made and it's actually going to inspire potentially more custom tuxedos from them. How do you feel about it? I'm, I always love being a guinea pig. You know, it's nice, uh, nice, nice being the first. No, it's, it's cool. I mean, uh, and I'm sort of honored that they decided to, to rise to the occasion and that they uh, wanted to make something nice for me. It's pretty, uh, pretty snug. I know that during your fittings, they were measuring you you know, your arm lengths, your shoulder lengths, all mm. of that. And you might have seen that some parts of your body were longer than others. I mean, what findings did you come across that maybe... Well, in, in the fitting, uh, it seemed like one of my arms might have been a quarter inch longer than the other, which I'd never really thought about before, but it did make me think about the way I hang on climbing and why uh, I've had some shoulder issues on one side over the years and things like that. But I mean, basically, it was all pretty normal. So now here you are, you're in a tuxedo, you're nominated for an Oscar. Um, how do you feel? This is a big night. I mean, honestly, it's just another night of film tour for me. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it's exciting that the film's been nominated, but I think it means a lot more to the actual filmmakers. You know, I think that for me, uh, just doing the actual climb, just free selling all cap was enough. Well, some people wait their whole lives for this moment to be nominated well, for the an Oscar. Well, the thing is, some people wait their whole lives for the Oscars because they're filmmakers and because they're actors and because they're working in the industry and, and it means a lot for them to be recognized by their peers and to you know, be celebrated by by all the people that they respect. I'm not an actor, I'm not a filmmaker, I've never watched the Oscars. You know, I'm like, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to say I don't care because obviously it's still, it's still a big honor to be here and it's really nice to see the party, but it's not my world. You know, I'm, when I did the actual climb, when I free sold it all cap and all my friends texted me saying how impressed they were by the climb, I mean, that means more to me in a lot of ways than, mm -hmm. than recognition for the film. Mm -hmm. Though that said, it is really nice that, that people find something meaningful in the film. You know, I mean, like that's still, that's still nice, but it's not, you know, it's never my goal to come to the Oscars. So how can you tell that you're improving and that you are being a good climber when essentially you're the best in the world? No, I'm definitely not the best in the world. I mean, today uh, I just came from a gym session uh, at the climbing gym near, near the Oscars with the actual, with the whole free solo film crew, so the different cinematographers, uh, pretty much everybody that worked on the film, a couple of the film editors, basically everyone that worked on free solo was, was at the climbing gym this morning. And, uh, and we were kind of going neck and neck, you know, some of the filmmakers are, are really good climbers too. And so we're just all hanging tough together. We're all training in our own ways. We're all working on our weaknesses. I mean, there's always something to improve at in climbing. What do you consider your weaknesses? Um, I have very weak fingers. I mean, I, I mean, I have many weaknesses in climbing, but, but actually just gym climbing in general is, is probably one of my weaknesses. We know from the film that you don't register fear in the same way that other people register fear, like from when you were climbing. So my question is, does this scare you? I think that the takeaway from the film isn't that I don't register fear the same as other people. It's that through 10 years of practice, I've desensitized myself to certain levels of stimulus. I mean, I think in the film, you see that my, my amygdala doesn't light up under certain circumstances, but it sort of remains to be seen whether that's from, from nature or nurture. You know, and, and I know that 20 years ago, climbing was a lot scarier to me than it is now, and so obviously there's been a learned process there. You know, had I gone from living in my van 10 years ago straight to walking the red carpet of the Oscars, my mind would probably explode, you know, like that would be the end of me. It would Your be way too stressful. Yeah, exactly. It would be up. lighting up like Christmas tree and it would be a disaster. But, you know, I mean, I've been a professional climber for 10 years. I've been touring with the film for six months. Like, I've had a lot of practice. I mean, we were just at the BAFTAs, which is the British Academy Awards, and we met the, the prince and princess, and it's all... I mean, it's all good practice for the Oscars. Is there anyone here tonight that you're hoping to see or that you would be excited to meet? I honestly don't know who, who will be at the Oscars or what the, what the plan will be. I mean, we met Taylor Swift last night, which is the highlight of my girlfriend's life probably. So I think that's all, I think that's all pretty good. Yeah. You know, everything else is gravy. So if, if Sonny's happy, then you're happy. Yeah, if Sonny's happy, then I'm happy. Uh -huh. It's all just, you know, it's all just a crazy experience. Do you care if you win? Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to win. Um, just because it's not as if I'll ever be in another film that gets nominated. You know, it's like this is my one shot at winning an Academy Award. It's not under my control, mm -hmm. you know, so we'll just see how it plays out. I mean, we can tell that you don't climb for attention. You're not at the Oscars for attention. Uh, 
why do you do what you do? Why do I climb? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've always climbed because I'm not good at anything else. Um, no, I don't know. I just, I've always loved climbing and I just love the experience of climbing. And then I think that combined with sort of an inherent drive to improve at what I'm doing or feel like I'm good at what I'm doing, basically uh, this desire to push myself in, in whatever way I can, I think has, has led me down this 20 year path of trying to, you know, get better at rock climbing. I am very proud of free soloing El Cap, but uh, you know, lots of humans do lots of things. Like, uh, you know, it's hard to put it in a greater context. The film tour is coming to an end. Your climbing life is about to ramp back up. Mm. What's next? Yeah, everybody asks what's next. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever top my, my free solo of El Cap just because I don't know if there are any walls in the world that are more inspiring than El Cap. I don't know if that's really possible. Back to normal life, back to climbing, trying to keep improving, you know, maintaining a relationship with my girlfriend, working with my foundation, just, uh, you know, hopefully going on expeditions and, and climbing again. So um, you don't we'll have your see. sights set on one single Goal. No, I don't, I don't have any particular climbing goal. And honestly, it'd be really hard to have a particular climbing goal right now just because I spent six months traveling with the film, talking about El Cap. Um, you know, it's hard to dream about the future when you're so caught up in the present. Mm -hmm. But hopefully I'll have some time soon. So maybe that's your goal, dreaming about yeah. the future. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely need some time to just get, get a vision. Yeah. yeah. We'll see.